Hi everyone, this is Practice Formative Chapter 3, question number 24. So the diagram shows two curves, y equals to x squared minus 1, which is this, the smiling face graph, and y equals to 3 plus 2x minus x squared, which is this one, the set face graph. Let's label this as y1 and this is y2. Okay, so we need to find the coordinates of point P and Q. So find the coordinates P and Q. P is here, Q is here. So they are the roots of the smiling face graph. So let's find that. So um, to solve the quadratic equation, we have to let the y1 equals to zero because on the x-axis, y equals to zero. Therefore, x squared minus one equals to zero, x squared, equals to 1, x equals to plus minus 1. And therefore, p, the coordinates of p, this is negative 1, this is 1. So the coordinates of p is negative 1, 0. q is 1, 0. So we found the coordinates of p and q. Hence, calculate the area of the shaded region. So let's look at this. Now this area is actually consists of two parts. One is the area under the curve, under the graph of y1. Another one is the area under the graph of y2. So we shall add these two parts. Okay, that means we've got to integrate them separately uh, and then add together. And because this one is towards the x-axis, so anything below the x-axis, when we integrate, we will get a negative value. So for the smiling face graph, when we integrate, we have to add the modulus. Therefore, the area of the shaded region. Okay, so we have to integrate with the modulus, yeah? Integrate from negative 1 to 1 of the smiling face graph, that is x squared minus 1 dx, plus with the integration of negative 1, 1, um, under the set face graph, which is 3 plus 2x minus x squared dx. Okay, so, so the first part, I integrate the area under the graph. That means towards the x-axis. And then we plus the one under the set phase graph. We got to add. Cannot minus, yeah? Okay, therefore, let's integrate them separately. So we will have x cubed over 3 minus x from negative 1 to 1 with the modulus, then plus 3x plus x squared minus x cubed over 3 from negative 1 to 1. And therefore, substitute the boundaries in. We have 1 over 3 minus 1. Take away, put the negative 1 in. We will have negative 1 over 3 minus negative 1, so plus 1. So this is the first term. Then the second term here. So put the one in. So we will have three plus one minus one over three. And then minus negative three plus one. And then plus one over three. Okay. So let's uh, evaluate this on our own. So one over three minus one, we will get negative two over three. And then minus one over three plus one, we will have two over three minus two over three. Put the modulus. And over here, we will have four minus, actually the one minus one third is two third. So three plus two third, three and two third here. And then over here, we have negative three uh, plus one, so we have negative two. So negative two plus one third, so we minus uh, negative two plus one third, so we have negative one and two third. So after we open up the bracket, it will be plus. So over here, we have uh, negative four over three, which is one and one over three, after the modulus, positive. And for this side, we will have three plus one is four, four plus four over three. That will be five and one third. Therefore, six and two third unit square is the answer for question 24. Okay.